Hey, so in this video it's a question for you and it's about The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Well, I want to bring this well, the reason I bring this up because recently bought the uh movie and I decided to rewatch it to see how I feel about it and whatnot cuz when I first watched it, I was like had mixed fit feelings about it cuz I I liked it, but it wasn't that exciting. And now that I've watched it a second time, I can see somewhat why I didn't feel like it was a complete movie. Now that I've seen like the behind the scenes of like the deleted scenes and stuff like that, so I just wanted to talk about that. Uh, like there were some scenes that could have been taken out of the movie and some of the stuff that could have been replaced into the movie to make it more better or or switch like change some stuff around so it didn't have to like be in that movie like i can i can see like for me i would have wanted harry to have changed into the green goblin but not seeing him until the very end of the movie like have him behind the scenes after, let's say, Electro was ki killed, Peter Parker and uh, Gwen get away, and there's like Gwen, Gwen and uh, Peter say goodbye for him, her to go to uh, England, I think it was, for him. and all you hear in the background is the Green Goblin laugh and fly away, and then in the third one he. We find it. Like we uh, see who Harry, how Harry looks as the Green Goblin, and he's behind the scenes, like making more villains to go after Peter. That's how I would have wanted it, but it didn't go that way. Because uh, for me, the last like twenty minutes of that film were was really kind of rushed and was just all complete setup. Like, it was a cool, it was a cool fight between Peter and, I mean, Peter and, uh, Green Goblin, but it was just so rushed to me that it could have waited until the, the third movie and then killed her off. It, that's just my opinion. I like the rhino suit as well. That, yeah, I, I can kind of see that, that could have been in there no matter what. It just had to have been mixing around without having Harry in the as the Green Goblin at all. It just to me the last ten like ten minutes or fifteen minutes of that film it was just kind of rushed and just complete setup for the movie. It really ha didn't have to be there. All we needed is a sneak peek at Harry changing to the Green Goblin and having him saved like set up for the, the third movie and then have like the third movie the complete like setup of all the different villains for Sinister Six but no I guess they didn't want to do that uh, so yeah and like some of the scenes that were actually supposed to be in the movie that weren't what was like uh, Max Dillon and his mother where I don't know exactly what it was about, but it would have been a cool thing to see to actually find out more about him before he actually turned into Electro, which I don't know why they didn't keep that in. Uh, and at the end of the film, or they could have somehow mixed, changed, they would have to have changed that scene, but it would have been cool to see. Uh, Peter's dad alive. They could have kept that in because they've never done that before. They could have explored that in this the third one as well. So yeah, there's a there was a lot of scenes that they could have kept in the film, but they just never did. I can understand Mary Jane because Gwen Gwen hasn't died yet, and as far as I know, in the comic books, uh, Mary Jane doesn't come in until after. The fact of Gwen Stacy dies, I think. I could be wrong. But yeah, it's. 
it just heck. Like, as a, a film altogether, it was not a bad film, just the last 20, 10, 15 minutes of the film really bothered me. It was just a complete rush. But, yeah, so comment down below uh, if you've seen seen this movie after uh, the going coming out of the theaters, like on DVD, and did you change your thoughts of it, and comment down below what you think of it now, after watching it.